Good morning everyone. How are you all children? Children, today I am going to teach you one of your science topic that is living thing and non-living thing. Children, when you look around the world, you find two things, two groups that is living group and non-living group. Now, what are the characteristics of a living thing? A living thing can breathe. As we all breathe, Living thing can grow and living thing can move. We can move from one place to another place very easily. Now, I'll tell you, I'll give you one example of living thing. You must be having beautiful plants at home. Here I have a plant. It grows. For growth, it requires water and air. Now, similarly, you must be having animals at your home. Your pets. Your dog barks, your dog grows and it can move freely from one place to another place. Now, I'll tell you about non-living thing. Non-living things cannot breathe, they cannot move and they cannot grow. See, I here I have a doll. This is an example of non-living thing. It cannot grow, it cannot eat, it cannot dance. Until and unless a force is not applied. Now children, this is all about living thing and non-living thing. In our next class, I'll tell you, I'll give you more examples of living things and non-living things. Thank you.